I want to go a little bit into the mental health stuff because yeah. I, I've been sober ne nearly 29 years. And I know that oh, once, awesome. I, thank you, once I kind of got a replacement for that, which I had to find, right? I could kind of, you know, life started to kind of expand for me, right? And a lot of people relate to you because you're pretty vocal, as we've been talking about about your personal problems and how you're feeling inside. So when you're watching others go through these things and people that are close to you, and sometimes you hear about it, sometimes you don't hear about it. What's the, do you ever approach them and let them know that maybe, hey, it's getting out of hand? Or are you that friend? Or are you the one that's kind of like, wait till they come to you? Yeah, I wait. I wait till they come to me because before I decided, and to me, it took the pandemic for me to go, okay, enough. Time to get better. You know what I mean? And it, when the pandemic hit, it was funny. For some people, it hurt them, you know, and God bless those people. But for me, being able to be alone by myself in my own mind and then deciding no more. I'm not going to be this person anymore. I'm not going to be this angry, lunatic person that shoots himself in the foot anytime he gets close to reaching a goal. Right. You know what I mean? And there's some days where I still think I don't deserve this, but I fight through that. And I work through it. But the reason why I bring that up is because nobody can come up to me and tell me, hey, man, what you're doing is wrong or whatever. Because I didn't want to hear that. You know what I mean? I needed to reach a certain point. Some say rock bottom. Others say different things. I needed to hit a certain point where I had to make the decision for myself that I wanted to change. So with my, you know, very small group of friends I have, very small because... I just don't trust a lot of people, but I have a very small group of friends. And when they feel like calling me, they all know they can. And they know I'm not going to be the one to go up to them and go, hey, man, you know, I'm going to wait. Because when, they when they're ready to open up, you know what I do? I pick up the phone. I put it on speaker. I go, go ahead. And they're like, what do you mean? Just go. Just talk. Go ahead. I'm not going to answer anything. Go. Because they don't want to hear your advice, they just want to get it out. Let them get it out first. And then if you have advice, give it to them. You know, and I, and I believe a very little thing for mental health is just let people talk. Not everybody wants to be fixed right now or yeah. ready fixed. Because there's no such thing as being fixed, folks. Like I tell all my friends when they come to me with their deal, I tell them every day I'm working. My final form is me in that casket. So every day I'm changing. Every day I'm getting better. You know what I mean? So that's why I tell them. I said, just call me. R rant. Go ahead. I don't have to agree with what you're saying. All I have to do is listen. And I think a lot of people need that. Just someone to listen. 